We're about to go for a ride in one of Italy's finest sports cars, an Alfa Romeo Spider Veloce. This is not one of the finer examples I have to point out, which is why I'm going to prove to you it actually drives. Uh, it's actually kind of an older run down a little bit. Not really abused, just neglected, I would say. But it runs and drives, traded into a local Volvo dealership. Uh, somebody did love it, though. The body's actually pretty clean. The top is almost new. It's a canvas top, not a vinyl top. Um, however, they, I don't know what they do with the rear window. Somebody took a knife to it or what, but it obviously needs new rear window sewn into it. Um, the interior is a little bit shabby, shall we say, but it's complete. Nothing's missing. Uh, the power windows actually function. The turn signals do not function. A little bit of a damage right there in the seat. Uh, parking brake works. The car actually runs and drives pretty well, I mean, all things considered. Um, having said that, just given the age, I would still just deem it as being a bit of a rattle trap, to say the least. Let's go for a ride. Okay, we're about to go for a ride to show you how well this fine car runs. I've already put 2.3 miles on it, you can maybe tell. Uh, and miraculously, it's not yet overheated. It actually appears to not have an overheating problem. I mentioned how nice the top was on the outside. It's not so nice on the inside, as you can see, and especially over on this side. Watch your head. Duck your head for a second. Look right there. Okay. And actually, we're going to get a price of replacing the rear window because otherwise, it's, the car looks very nice on the outside. It even has the boot for the convertible tops now. Okay, here, take this. And pay attention because I, every so often, second and third gear is grinds when you, when you shift. But I want you to see, I'm going to wind out first gear, a little double clutch, and it shifts like butter. Same thing with third gear. Third gear, I just little little tap the throttle between shifts, and it's fine. But second, second and third gear synchros are definitely a little crunchy. This is with the windows up, you can maybe hear it's better. I'll show my window. Look how slow it goes. Driver's window does go up via power very slowly. But it works, that's all that really matters. Uh, convertible top, by the way, leaks air because if you look right here, which it is. That latch is broken. I'm sure I could actually fix it, but that's your job. I didn't stop. Hey, man, it's a downshift in the third without any, any grinds. I promise you I do no power slides around turns. Not to mention, I've not checked the air in the tires in probably, you know, two years. Let's see the speedometer. Tires 50. Now, we're going to try something I don't want to do. Fourth into third, a little double clutch down, and it goes right into third gear, no trouble whatsoever. Basically, if you know how to drive, you're not going to have any of that synchronizer problem I mentioned in the second and third gears. Because I only had it the very first time I drove it. Since then, I've been trying to drive. Pay attention. There's that air wind, air leak. Here we go. Let's see if we have some speed. All right. Now we're at 60. And, we just... and the wind noise is ridiculous. There's no... Yeah. There's no... Pulsations from the rotor. Oh, there we go. Little second gear. Did you hear that? One of it can come up. Little second gear. I forgot to downshift it. I forgot to double clutch downshifting in the second. And I got a little bit of a grind. Okay. Wipers work. The turn signals do not work. Um, and we're not going to try to figure out why. The car appears to be pretty original. We'll show you the engine compartment in a second. There's a little sex nick a second. Okay, like I said, the engine compartment looks pretty original. The radiator shows signs of having had, to, had some seepage. Not a big deal. The car's been running at this point for about 35, 40 minutes. No signs of overheating. Once again, mild, mildly miraculous. I did have to put a jump box on it to get it to run, but all the original trunk, trunk carpets are there. I have no idea what this is. Quite elaborate electrical switch there. Anyway, there'll be lots of pictures posted online so you can see. Oh yeah, let's go over and look at the uh, original number plates. Emissions exempt, not a shock. Yeah, yeah. A little 
little bit better look at the interior. Books. He wants to know if he has to put it next to the 